So back before I ever even touched a Fire Emblem game, I can remember going on the internet and and finding everything I could about out about the series. And I remember coming across a few commercials that were. Uh, what happened to Dorka? A bit. Mm, special, and <laughs> they're they're so. They're so funny to watch and like see how like the culture of commercials has changed because like you see video game trailers now, right? And it's all join Chrome and Elise on their epic journey through Elise and uh, I don't know. You know how and it shows like footage from like the, the cutscenes in the game to fool you into thinking that's what the game actually is, and then it's like journey through Fire Emblem now, uh, 3DS. But like back in the day, there were these really funny, wacky commercials that were just so weird. Some of them are like exclusively like Japanese and those are like the, the strangest where you don't even know what the hell is going on. Some of them are American where they don't have a grasp of the game. It's it's hilarious. So I thought why not just sit down, you and me, grab a nice pint of cocoa and just watch some uh, Fire Emblem commercials, you know? Go back to the good old days. So strap in boys and girls because today is going to be a bumpy ride. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the first commercial, and I'm just gonna wait for things to get weird, whether it's in this commercial or the next commercial, or uh, you know what I'm saying. Let's get started. Okay, so we're like we're like ten seconds in. Stuff isn't isn't even that weird yet. It's just I mean they got the hair color wrong. They just got a blonde actor to play a blue haired character, but that's fine. Whatever. I don't even care about that. Hmm. It's pretty it's pretty good so far. I mean it's not it's not amazing, but it's pretty it's pretty good for the caliber that it's at, and it's not weird, which is good. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the little like stuffed animal or toy dragon that they used to fly up and the guy's just like <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh that was that was the best part where it's like for most of it it's fine and then all of a sudden just like this dragon flies up and people start singing fire emblem and then and then the guy's just like grabs his like toy little dinky sword he's like Ahem. The dragon's like a toy that they used to fly up. That's actually, it's so bad that it's good. That's that's what I love about these commercials. It's just so bad that it's good. And <laughs> this would get me to buy Fire Emblem Gaiden. Like, come on, like this is getting me to buy Echoes because I don't have it yet. Because I'm a, I'm, a I'm a false fan. I'm a false fan. Roll the next clip. The drums of war are beating. No man can be trusted. What happened to Dorka? I put poison in his mutton. <laughs> Build an army. Trust nobody. Fire Emblem. Only on Game Boy Advance. Oh, this commercial. Oh, this is the one that I exclusively remember finding and just being like, Whoa, that's cool. But now re-watching it, I even did like a little homage to it in one of my Roy Reviews episodes where I reviewed uh, the original Fire Emblem, which is what this is advertising. I did like a little homage where... <laughs> I had like three Roy's sitting around a table and the guy's like, originally it was supposed to be just a recreation of the 16 second, what happened to Darkos? I put poison in his mind. like it was supposed to be like a recreation of that as a joke, a uh, very obscure joke even among the Fire Emblem fans. And, uh, but then it turned into this whole like six minute segment where this guy is like, it's, it's, it's crazy. You son of a, what happened to Dorcas? I put poison in his mouth. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so this commercial, oh, boy oh boy, is it, there's a lot to unpack. It's, uh, it's, it's so weird. It's I love that my favorite part is the ending where it goes, uh, build an army, trust nobody, fire emblem. Build an army, trust nobody, fire emblem. Even though the whole premise of every fire emblem game ever is like, oh, this person wants to join our army, let's just completely trust them and welcome it, welcome it and welcome them into our army. It's, it's, it's amazing <laughs> that they got like a bunch of actors to, to sit around and like have like mutton and stuff and like sit around a table and the guy go, and <laughs> it's just so funny <laughs> that <laughs> the guy is like, uh, the drums of war are beating or whatever and then the guy falls down and dies and he's like, what happened to Dorcas? He's like, I put poison in his mind, like what? I can do, I can, I can do it verbatim. 
マルス本当に会いたかったんだよみんな随分たくましくなっちゃってスーパーファミコンに新たなる伝説愛と勇気のシナリオファイヤーエンブレム紋章の謎24メガで新発売私の思いが物語にだ All right, singing uh, uh, very weirdly and creepily because the bit crushing. Uh, check. Uh, paper Fire Emblem, uh, an RPG from Intelligent Systems. Check. Oh, paper Dragon scaring a, uh, a human being that's like seven feet tall. Check. And the title screen and everyone speaking in Japanese and the bit crushing audio getting so, so bit crushed that you can't even understand what anyone's saying or what the music is. Check. That's my checklist right there. It passes. It passes. A plus. A plus to this commercial. It's beautiful. Now I know that it's being bit crushed because it's old and someone had it on the VHS and things with VHS tapes are not the best. The commercial was pretty uh, the commercial was pretty alright. Uh, it wasn't like cringy, it was just kinda weird. It was out there, it was like paper characters and then a dragon or whatever. It, it was it was unique and you know, it's not like I was uncomfortable or anything like that. Well, I feel relatively uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. The Japanese singing and the weird, weird, like... <sighs> I don't know, man. That commercial just made me feel very, uh, unsafe. Like, like, like a bunch of Japanese music was about to start playing and Ellie Wood was gonna break through. I'd pause the door and be like, hey, what's up? And I was gonna be like, Ellie Wood? And he was gonna be like, sup, Roy? I like that hat. Looks like I'm gonna have to take it. And I said, no, I'll just give it to you. He's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. And I said, whoa, dude, you need to, you need to calm down. And he said, no, no, no I, I don't need to calm down. You need to calm down. And he points to me with a lance. And I go, no, 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 dude, you, you don't need to do that, man. You don't need, and then he goes like, I need my horsey, <laughs> Philip. And then a horse breaks through the window, <laughs> runs through my room. And then he jumps on the horse and he goes, this is my horse, Philip. Say hi to Philip. And I said, what's up, Philip? And Philip goes, what's up? And then Ellie was like, all right, time to kill you now. And I go, dude, I thought you were cool. I thought you were like Roy's dad or whatever. That doesn't make you like my dad or something. I don't know. And then he's like, nah, man. That's Well, the audio quality was just lovely. I loved it. See, that's a commercial I can get behind. I really like it because it exudes like what the gameplay really is. It lacks like epicness or anything like that, but it's super cool. They use like figurines that are like either custom built. One of them like looked like it was from like Warhammer 40k, uh, like a Granite Terminator or something. But uh, I doubt it. Uh, but it was that's a super cool type of commercial, right? Like it, it it shows it like kind of like chess, so you, so the mainstream audience would understand what it is, but then shows you the gameplay in game to show you like a basic understanding of what the game is. That's a pretty good commercial. It's not like. It's not like uh, a blonde guy dressed in armor fighting a rubber dragon, you know. It's not a uh, cutscene showing where it's like Fire Emblem, the most epic game series ever, where you move people around. Like, you know, it's, it shows you what it is and what you can expect. I think that's a pretty great commercial, honestly. It's super cool with the chess pieces. I, I, I loved it. You know. Fire Emblem Chess has always been my favorite entry in the series. It was the very first one. And it's been around for thousands of years. So technically, Fire Emblem is the first video game ever made. That's a true fact. You can look it up right now on the internet. I'll bet you it's somewhere on Wikipedia because I edited the article. So what? So what if I edited it? I'm not biased. Fire Emblem is the first video game and it's called Chess. Fire Emblem Chess. Fire Emblem colon uh, echoes uh, colon uh, shadows of colon uh, chess colon uh, the revenge colon of the colon 
uh, chess board colon uh, 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 and the, the dragon fall event colon Armageddon colon dragons will rise again colon 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 and then a, and then a subtitle because that's the, that's the title subtitle rise of the chess pieces. That was my favorite entry in the Fire Emblem series. And then they brought along like this new digital version. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And now for something completely different. Game Boy Advance. <laughs> It's so beautiful. That is probably one of the best commercials I've ever seen for any game ever. That is that is so oh, mm, oh that is the A1 like dream commercial right there. It's so weird. It's <laughs> they're all just singing the opera version from Roy's game and <laughs> my, my my absolute favorite part is when the horse <laughs> when they cut to the horse. Like they're cutting through all these people singing, they're in these weird outfits, like one 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 of the outfits is the two guys and you know, and they're in this like giant overgrown size of armor, and then it just cuts to a horse that like neighs. That's the beat go it's so beautiful. You know what? It's so beautiful. I wanna recreate it myself. I'm recreating this right now. Definitely a Game Boy advance.